Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wheat Hours here today taking a look at Might is Right. The developer for this game popped up on the Wii Hours Discord, <clears throat> shameless self-promotion link down below, and said, hey Dave, I see you like turn-based tactical games. Would you like to check out Might is Right? And I said, you're right, I do like turn-based tactical games. I will definitely check out Might is Right. So we're going to take a look at it now. What we're doing right now is just a demo. It's a free demo that's available. This game is being funded through Kickstarter. I have left a link down below to that Kickstarter page. If you take a look at Might is Right and you think you like it, that is where you can go to support it. I've messed around just a tiny little bit just to get the settings right and whatnot and adjust the audio and all sorts of little things, but I haven't done too much with it. So we're just going to jump into a new game. We'll keep the tutorials on just in case there's something that pops up that I'm not aware of, and we'll take a look at Might is Right. So we're going to start by gathering our squad. We're going to choose a hero and some mercenaries and see what we can do with these guys. The Baroness. Now, ah, okay, I can change it to the Duchess. The Marquise? Marquisi? Marquise, I believe, is the correct pronunciation. I could be 100% wrong about that, and I expect it to be corrected in the comments. Or the Countess. Uh, let's try the Duchess, because I can pronounce that a little bit easier. Duchess is bringing terror to her enemies. Oh, good, I like you already. And encouragement to her allies. Oh, she's a spellcaster. Her spells curse all enemies and heal allies. Okay, cool. And a sharpshooter. Well, I like the sound of you already, but what else have we got? Grovekeeper, Mage, Troubadour... Swordsman. Okay, I can take a pretty good guess at what a swordsman and a mage and a, frankly, a troubadour is going to do. I, I'm no fan of bards. We're not going to have a bard in the group. I'm actually going to keep it as sharpshooter. I, I like a good guy with arrows. I'd like to be doing something from range here, although that puts me both at range. I should probably have a melee person in here. What if we changed out the duchess to the countess? What does she do? Healing. Okay, high speed. Right, so she's primarily a healer. What about the Marquise, uh, master of ranged attack? No, okay, we'll go back to the Duchess and keep it at that and see what we can do. Squad bonuses. Wow, there's a lot of bonuses down here. 25 armor, okay, add it. 5 armor, restoration bonus. There's a lot going on down here. And over here, food stash, plus 5% maximum health and plus 10 maximum health. So we're going to have to eat as we go. Right, so we're going to need to keep an eye on provisions and whatnot. Healer apprentice, be your own doctor. Yes, why not? Guide, how to become a vampire in one go. Gives an understanding of the essence of vampirism and love for the process. Plus three lifesteal. Let's stop messing around with all of this stuff. Let's go shoot something in the face with an arrow. So it seems from all of this, our backstory is we're on a mission of vengeance. Pretty much that's 93% of all games on the market right now. But mission of vengeance nonetheless, and I'm totally okay with that. Our lands were taken by an evil king, and we're going to go fight to get them back. Fair enough. There's a treasure chest nearby. Go ahead and loot it. Can do, game. Can do. Strategic map. All movements of the squad interaction will occur on the world map. All right. So we're going to travel around the world. We're going to encounter things and then we're going to deal with them. Got it. So there we are. There's the Duchess. Let's see what's in the treasure chest here. We've got some cheese, some bread, and a book of the dead. Oh, what a fun chest that is. Um, what, what's in my inventory? Okay, using inventory. I'm pretty clear on how to use an inventory. Book of the dead, the best book ever. Read it after you died and see the result. I like a game that has a little bit of humor attached to it. Okay, so I can move to any of these green squares no problem. But if I move to here, I'm attacking this person down here. Well, this is obviously what we've got to do next. So let's see what happens. During an encounter, combatant squads are located opposite each other. Attacker on the left, defender on the right. Good, so I know who I am. Units remain in the same position during combat, but... They can perform various actions, attacking, healing, etc. Right, so we're not going to move around the map. We're going to stay put, is what I read out of this. Okay, fair enough. Units take turn. Highest initiative gets to act first. All right, some pretty familiar mechanics there, and the order will be at the bottom. Got it. So we're not going to move around. Ow! Ow, dame! Ow, that wasn't very nice. Okay, what are my options here? Oh, hang on. Fire arrows. I'm already a fan. After waiting, your next attack will ignite all enemies in the row. 
after waiting. Okay, so what have I got? I can flee. I can auto-resolve the combat. We won't be doing that. I can defend. And there's my wait. So if I tell the sharpshooter to wait, what I read here is the next attack will be a fire arrow. Okay, we'll deal less damage, but it'll set everyone on fire. And isn't that really what we want out of life? All right, let's just, for right now, let's just do something very basic, like shoot this person in the face. Okay, fair enough. Launched an arrow, did some damage. Great. And it's my turn now, the Duchess. Now, what can you do? You can do Grand High Witch Cure. That's a heal. All right. Human Curiosity levels up speed. And okay, you have a health boost. You've got some bread. And False Life increases health and healing received. Okay, and that's a trait. I've got that all the time. That's a passive boost. Fair enough. Well, let's just hit you in the face then. Oh, we don't hit you in the face. We shoot magic at you. Even better. Right. Sharpshooter. Um, shoot this person in the face again. I think this is, you know, baby's first battle here, so I don't think we're in any real danger of dying. Although I do like the, the magic launch there. That's kind of cool. I thought I was going to hit you with my big stick. Ow! You're actually doing a little bit more damage than I anticipated you doing. Um, sharpshooter, time to shine. Okay, that was less shining. Right, and me. Um, how about we finish this person off? Not quite. Oh, wow. Um, the, okay, sword versus spell. This is why I didn't want a spellcaster up front. Should have looked at maybe changing out the sharpshooter for a swordsman. That probably would have been a better move. But here we are, shooter in the face. There we go. No problem. And we're gaining a little bit of XP from that. Fantastic. So we'll level up, I would assume, at some point. Right. Dame is dead. Healing. We'll, re we'll regenerate a little health every turn. Okay, so there's a passive heal as we move around the world. But we could also use potions and stuff, and I assume spells as well. All of the hero's actions points are spent after attacking an enemy squad. Got it. So we're stuck here now. We can't do anything else. We can't move around. We can end the current turn, and that'll move the game along. Got it. Oh, and indeed, while resting, we found some stuff. Okay, that's kind of neat. We found a bagel. Oh, this is the best game. I found a bagel. That's not actually a bagel. I think that's actually a pretzel. But nonetheless, pretzel or bagel, I, I'd be more of a fan of the bagel. Um, but we found this flask of inspiration touch. Forget what you did a minute ago. Do it again. What is this? After using an ability, grants one charge of inspiration touch. As if you have grown huge wings. What does that actually do? Oh, makes an ally incredibly fast. Okay, so possibly boosting initiative. There'll be, you know, more in in the battle at the front lines kind of thing. I don't know. Oh, we've got a pretty good range here. Although there's people that need to be a killed down here. Who are you? Can I inspect you? Yes. Uh, no, I, I know what the squad is. That's fine. Who are you? A grove keeper and a mage. Yeah, I turned both of you guys down. All right, and who are who are you? You're an herbalist and a swordsman. Okay, that could be a little fussy, but I do notice you're guarding a whole bunch of chests. Are you guarding anything cool? There seems to be maybe one chest down in the fog of war here, and that's about all I can see. Okay, let's take a pot shot at these guys. It looks like I can get all the way down here in one move. Yep, there we go. Right, swordsman, herbalist, and I'm not healed up. I'm not healed up. We have that passive heal, but I have not let nearly enough time do that. Uh, do I... let's... Um, what would be my heals that I could do here? Okay, that's just a basic overview. What could I be... what could I be doing? Okay, witches attacks heal allies. That's what I would like to do. Except I don't really want to heal the sharpshooter, I want to heal me. Hmm, I may have chosen my squad rather badly. But here we are. All right, um... I think we should focus on reducing numbers. Let's see if we can take out the herbalist. Now, can you do this? Can you get your magic over here? You sure can. Oh, we hit both of them. Oh, neat. Oh, I like that. I didn't know that we were going to hit both of them. Great. Well, that herbalist is going to go down pretty quick then, he says. Right, uh, sharpshooter, keep uh, focusing on this lady over here. She's probably not even a combatant. She's probably just some herb seller just wandering along, and we've somehow en enchanted her into battle. I'm really sorry about this lady, but, you know, needs must. There's some chests that I want to loot. Oh, ow, this guy hits really, really hard. Okay, super, super hard. Should I? Should I flee? Is, is that... And, oh, 
the herbalist healed herself. Uh-oh. This this could be a problem. Um right. I do really want to take her out there, especially if she's healing. That's kind of no good at all. But I feel the Duchess is not long for this world. I'm kind of wondering if I should flee. But that's going to still take a turn. I'd probably be dead by then. Let's focus on her. Okay, baby's first battle. This one is not. All right. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay. All right. And she's still healing herself. Oh, I've chosen very, very poorly here. Um, I don't suppose you'd like to do exactly 19 damage or more. Would you know you'd like to do 10? Okay, I think the Duchess is going down pretty quick. Yep, bye, Duchess. Sorry, you've healed yourself. Okay, we're all going to die here. Um, except, oh, how are you able to reach your sword all the way over there without moving? That seems a little odd, but there it is. I don't know if we'll ever actually get this woman down. No, she's healing more than we're doing. Maybe I should focus on this guy. Although, is she healing him too? Yeah, she's totally healing him too. I've drawn a rather bad batch of enemies. Yes, we indeed have been defeated. Well, I'm going to try that again, but now I'm going with the Baroness. Unsurpassed Master of Armor. Right, belongs in the Vanguard. Okay, tanky frontline fighter. It even says right here, damage, tank. I'm going to keep the sharpshooter because I just like sharpshooters and archers and whatnot. And I do want to kind of test drive that fire arrow if we get a chance to do that. Let's try that again. So I just went through the first battle again because it's just kind of a gimme. We obviously defeated the dame without any real problems. Although I did take a few knocks. I'm not completely at full health here. But she went down no problem. Looted the chest. Same stuff in that. Now who's down here? Because I believe this is somewhat randomized. So you are now... A witch and a swordsman. I don't immediately remember if those are the same two people. And what's going on over here? The herbalist is back. Okay. And a mage. Right. That's two magic users, one of whom can heal. Okay. I feel... Uh, but if the herbalist is at the... F okay. You know what? Let's stop overthinking it. Let's just go punch him in the face with a sharp metal object. Okay. The mage has virtually no health. I think we can probably take him down in one shot except he's got the shoot both of us at the same time thing but i'd really like to see if we can just take him down all right good done one less opponent on the map here yeah you're gonna heal yourself like mad but that's fine because now we can focus a hundred percent of our efforts on you now should i use the bernie arrow would that limit her healing i don't know let's just shoot her in the face this is fine. How much are you going to heal? Not enough is the answer to that question. Now, with a real frontline damage dealer here, we can really do some work on you. There we go. Much better pick there. Okay, uh, we've got some more experience. And it looks like we've, we've leveled up here too. Yes, we have indeed leveled up. New level, one point of talent, unit becomes stronger. Okay, so standard leveling up tactics apply here. Uh, your hero increased the leadership. Now the size of your squad extended by one slot. Ah, we could have a new friend. Visit the settlement to hire an additional mercenary. Okay, we'll do. Where's the settlement? Where, where does that live? I'll, I'll deal with you guys in a second. Uh, is this a settlement? Godspeed. That's where I allegedly came from. What are my options here? I can inspect it. There's a sorceress here. Do I need to know that? Can I recruit that person? Or is that person going to attack me? We'll find out. Let's uh, end the turn and then we can get our looting going on here. We got one page from the Tome of Secrets and some money. That's good. What's in here? Uh, healing Salve. One Book of the Dead again. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take all the Books of the Dead. And another Book of the Dead. All right. We are swimming in Books of the Dead right now. What's the uh, What's the other thing? Yes, I, uh, inventory is fine. Thank you. Uh, what's the other thing that we just got there? Yeah, Page from the Tome of Secrets grants 100 XP to the target. Okay. And I can give that to the Baroness or the Sharpshooter. Well, let's give it to the Sharpshooter. Okay. He's got 100 XP right now. Right now. Oh, Hickory Arrows. I didn't see those. Best choice against large prey. Can I give that to the sharpshooter? Apparently I can. Uh, how about the bagel? Let's. Oh, no one can use this. No, that's the worst news I've ever heard in my life. How about the Book of the Dead? No one can use that either. Okay, well, dead people probably can. Right on. And let's deal with the level ups too. So the Baroness here. Ooh, 
We've got a big old skill tree now, don't we? Lots of things to look at here. Pain resistance, that's a plus armor. Heroic Master of Defense reduces incoming damage and increases healing. That's good. I don't. We don't really have a healer, though, per se. Heroic Survivalism, bonus to health, takes less damage. Oh, that's squad-based. Oh, to everyone in the squad. Ooh, interesting. And this is also squad-based. Increases damage, so a flat 3.75% a flat power. And Heroic Master of Provisions plus Health. Okay, what about her personally? Dedication. Just a straight flat plus 10% power. I feel that's very valuable, but let me just see if anything else catches my eye. Well, I really like the sound of this one. Restores 2% health after being attacked. Now, 2% is not a great deal in the grand scheme of things, but that might be the make-or-break number between dying and not dying. I also like the sound of just a flat plus 5 initiative. That's just attacking more frequently. I... This is my damage dealer, so I think it would be wise if she were hitting more frequently. I'm going to take that. I don't know if that's the right move or not. What's, what's this guy down here? Heroic Logistics increases squad range of movement. Oh, okay, cool, neat. Um, and let's go to the Sharpshooter. What are you going to get? Uh, you get Dedication plus Power plus Power and Initiative. That's very good. And after using the ability, grants one charge of Arrow Enchantment. Minus four initiative to them. Okay, so a debuff on my opponents. Neat. Now this I like the sound of. Heavy Draw. Plus 1% power, plus 1 armor piercing, plus 2% absorption piercing, and it will throw a debuff on my opponents. Minus 5 armor and minus 8 absorption. I'm taking that one, thank you very much. Okay, remind me what you people are again. A witch and a swordsman. Okay, let's take a shot at these guys. I should probably take some time to heal, but here we are. Right, swordsman's up front, witch at the back there. Now these guys are lined up which kind of plays to my fire arrow thing. Okay, well, I'm up first. Let's deal with the witch, because she's got pretty low HP, and we just took most of it away. So remind me again, fire arrows. I have to wait, and then I can launch a fire arrow. Okay, so please wait, swordsman. Yep, I know. Wait, defend, run away. We kind of covered some of that. So you're just going to hang out. Oh, which has a not small attack there. Okay, Sharpshooter has waited. So now, ah, yes, you've got a little fire icon. So let's attack you. I, You're on fire now. Oh, good. That's the best news I've heard all day. And I think we can just deal with the witch right now. There we go. Cool. She's done. Now we can just focus on the swordsman who is still on fire. You can just shooty shoot in the face. And the Baroness can just hitty hit in the face. Done. Very straightforward stuff there. A little bit of XP, fantastic. We got a Stone Skin Bomb out of that. What exactly does that do? Okay, it's a little buff. Plus 20% absorption and plus 20 absorption. Got it. Okay, healing salve. I should perhaps use that on myself, basically. Oh, no one can use it. We must. Are, are we already at full health? Really? You sure about that? Oh, I guess we are. Okay, we must have spent enough turns healing up. Oh, hi! I didn't actually see you before. Who are you and what's your deal? A witch and an earl. Oh dear, what do you do? Harms and slows the enemy every time they attack. Ew, I don't like the sound of that. Human curiosity, inquisitor. Oh dear, you seem very, very fussy. And you increase defense and healing not a small amount. Got it. Well, the witch will probably go down pretty easily, but let's see. And thankfully, they are all lined up in a nice little line here, ready for my sharpshooter to set fire to them. But let's start the party off right by hitting the witch in the face. Uh, oh, did oh he's healing. Got it. He's healing. You know what? That's broadly fine at the moment. You didn't heal that much. I'm going to have my sharpshooter wait which is doing some damage, but not a ton. Let's set you both on fire. Oh, doesn't set this guy on fire. Is the line only vertical and not horizontal? I don't know, or possibly you're immune to fire. One way or another, the witch is on fire and you're not, and I don't like that one little bit, so I'm gonna kill your friend. 
um, make her go away. And now we're going to focus on you, Mr. Earl, who's probably, yeah, you're buffed to heck, aren't you? You are just buffed out. Right, hitty hit. Okay, we're wearing him down, and you're healing it off. Super. So we just need to do more damage to you than you're healing off yourself. I don't think that'll be a problem right now. So heal. Yeah, you did a tiny little heal. I think we've got you all day, Mr. Earl. Yeah, we've solved that problem. A little bit of XP there. Ooh, the sharpshooter is almost about to level up. Cool. Now what? Rosewater we got. All right, I'll look at that in a sec. End that turn. We're refreshed and rested. Now what? Who are you? You are... Ooh, you're three people. What's a Trobaritz? Are you like a female bard? You've got a flute. Pastorella. Healed ally becomes stronger and faster. Oh, you sound terrible. I should shoot you in the face with a fire arrow. And healer training you, increasing health. Oh, dear. Um, can we go to... I don't want to attack the town. I'd like to hire somebody, frankly. How do I go about doing that? I better figure it out soon because the enemies are getting tougher. Right behind the town, there's two swordsmen, which ain't nothing, and a grove keeper, so a druid of some sort, I would assume. Uh, no, don't do that. I guess my my only option is to attack good speed, god speed. This is my hometown. I don't know why I'm attacking it, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, okay, you're a sorceress. Wow, you have a lot of health. I mean, you had way more, but now you have a lot, a lot of health. Like, like so a lot of health, and you're still okay. Right, hit in the face so much right now. That didn't really do all I needed it to do. But go ahead and shoot her in the face. I do have that... Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Um, right, I do have... My, my arrows should be doing a little bit more damage to heavily armored foes, so... Um, just, just hit. You know what? Just hit. Don't overthink. Just, just hit in the face. Well, so far, so good. We've, we've worn her down without taking really much damage. Keep shooting. Keep hitting. She doesn't really seem to be doing much of anything. She's probably, but yeah, she keeps buffing herself. These little shields wandering around here. Can I see what that is? Oh, insect plague. Enemies will get debuffed to defense. Why haven't you shot that at me? You should have done that. You're drunk. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Makes you a little clumsy. Well, not a little. Oh, no wonder. You're, you're just hammered. Got it. Oh, Defender, look at all those buffs. Yeah. Oh, Resurrects yourself. Are you coming back from the dead? You have heavy draw as well. Good for you. You haven't used it, but you have it. Okay, just focus on the important things. Hitting in the face with sharp, pointy objects, and shoot in the face with sharp, pointy objects. It's a good thing you're drunk, otherwise this battle might have gone quite, quite differently, I imagine. Hit. Good. Shoot. Good. You are going to do... You're going to buff yourself again, aren't you? Yeah, you just keep buffing yourself. Not your smartest move, actually, because I am wearing you down, and now you're dead. Sharpshooter levels up. That'll be good. Oh, hang on. Call me mayor. What does that do? Am I, in, am I in charge of this town now? Interact. I am. It's my settlement. Oh, okay. Neat. Can hire mercenaries. Right. Hiring screen is involved by clicking recruit units. Okay. You can buy useful items and artifacts. Fair enough. So we've got a vendor here. Huh. Hire someone you need to have enough gold and a free slot in the garrison. Okay. Cool. Let me figure all this out. So it looks like I need to have a free slot in the garrison, which I clearly have. So if I go to recruit mercenaries, aha, how much gold do I have? Quite a bit, not a small amount. Swordsman, pretty self-explanatory. Sentry, better defense. Okay, so you're just going to be a tank and soak up damage. Mage, witch, archer again. Wait, what's the difference between archer and sharpshooter? Agile ranged fighter, attacks can reach any, any enemy. And you're slow and deadly and sending fire arrows. I do love your fire arrows. Huh. I don't think I need an archer and a sharpshooter. I wouldn't mind having a spellcaster. Mages, slow and fragile. Right, glass cannons. Makes sense. Witches, master of curses. Hmm. I am going to... How do I actually hire you? Okay, so just double-click on you, and I've hired you, and the appropriate amount of money has been taken out of my coffers. I think, given I can only have three people in my team right now, that's probably good enough. 
Now, how do I make you come to me? Oh, I just uh, I just swing you over there. Easy enough. Fair enough. And buy items. Milk. Haggis. No, we're not eating haggis. No, good breakfast slows you down. <laughs> Potion of Dicer. What does that do? In the worst case, we'll make more experience. Plus 15% experience. Huh. After turn begins, 16 possible effects can occur. Oh, alrighty. So what I'm reading out of that is we're going to have a boost to our XP, but we're also going to get a random thing happening. And I, I'm just going to guess using game logic here. It could be good or it could be bad. I like the books. The books are neat. We've seen the Book of the Dead, but we have Treaties on Regeneration, Heal Severe Wounds at the Beginning of Combat, Book of Oblivion would let me reset all my talent points. Oh, reminds me, I gotta go back and look at my sharpshooter. Restore all action points with the Reversing Hourglass. I like the books. That's kind of neat. I don't think I want to buy anything, though. Can I sell things? No. It doesn't seem that I can. I don't see anything here saying I can sell anything. All right, fair enough. And just checking in leaving town that my witch is indeed on board. She is part of the party now. I should level up my sharpshooter. Now, do I want to keep going down heavy draw? That will just make that better, obviously. What's after that? Fletcher greatly increases damage and attack. So a little bit of a better everything on the old shooting the arrow thing. Anything else seem really cool around here? I think a flat boost to health or armor would be very smart. Both of those things would be very handy. Or a... Oh, hang on. Is this also max health? But as, as a percentage, it's not as good. So this will give me sort of a little bit of a buff to absorption and health. Or I could have a big buff to armor or a big buff to health. I'm going to take the health. Sharpshooter's a little low on the old health, so I'm going to take that, and that will lead to more health. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So given the path that I have leading Godspeed, which which of these enemies do I want to deal with right now? You were two swordsmen and a druid, and you were... Uh, remind me, please. You were, right, the flute lady, a century, so a big old tank there, and a mage. I don't know enough about the flute lady to take a chance. You you seem to basically buff your allies. Can I tell how much health you have? You are only level one. Oh, never mind. We might not get a shot at that. Honorable knight, hear our plea. There's a fortress in the northeast from which Barbish the usurper, usurper, excuse me, is deserting our lands, robbing our rightful subjects, free our lands, save us. Okay, we can probably do that, maybe. And of course, that's naturally going to lead us to the two guys that I didn't want to fight, which is the two swordsmen up here. Enemy squad is much stronger than yours. Are you sure you want to attack? No, I'm not, actually. Let's just, um, let's, let's do the old grind for some XP here by taking out what I hope are the lower level enemies. Okay, what do we got? Flute Lady mage and the sentry the sentry is probably going to soak up damage like nobody's business right and baroness is up first can you can you hit this guy no you can't and you can't hit her either you're kind of stuck at the front okay well hit that person then that's fine uh sentry gets a go mage gets a go and hits everybody he's got to go down shoot that guy in the face oh one shot at him nice I like my high-level archer. High-level, he's level 3. But nonetheless, high-level archer. Um, Witch, do you have anything fun you could be doing? After being attacked, grants a charge of hex to the attacker. Have I now done that, though? Because I was attacked. Although I don't know if an AoE counts as an attack. I don't know. Uh, Witch cure, right? After using an ability, restores health to allies. Okay. And human curiosity. Let's just try and shoot the flute lady in the face with magic, I assume. And I did see, yeah, okay, we got a little teeny tiny tick of health there. Not a lot, but it'll get the job done. Flute lady's got to go down, like, immediately because she's healing. Okay, so the baroness can focus on the sentry. Everyone else focus on her. One shot at her again. Oh, I like my sharpshooter. I like you. You and I are going to get along just fine. Right, uh, okay, attack. I think we've broadly got this under control now. Yeah, the sharpshooter is just wrecking people. 
well, at least wrecking low-level enemies. Yeah, we're going to get along just fine, you and me. He's starting to one-shot people. He just took out that last century, no problem. Uh, we got some money for that, a potion of pain resistance, and I feel we kind of don't want to go this way. We want to go the other way. That would be smart. What are you? Just for curiosity. Oh, holy moly. You got a lot of people there. And you, you got healers and, wow, you got a little bit of everything, don't you? I don't, not really seeing any frontline fighters. I'm seeing a lot of people who can fuss with us, though. Archer, sharpshooter, a healer. I don't know what druids do yet, but I bet it ain't fun. Huh. We don't have a lot of good options here, do we? Well, in that case, that is probably an excellent place to call it on Might is Right, because I'm going into battles that I can't possibly win at this point. So that's a look at Might is Right. I, I kind of dig it. Uh, do please let me know in the comments what you think of Might is Right. And again, if you want to support it, the link to the Kickstarter page is down below in the description. But do please let me know what you think of it. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. If you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. So, when I stab this guy in the neck, which I'm about to do, don't talk about it. Just keep shtum, please. Yes. We've got peasant boy, peasant girl, a few chickens, a bridge that doesn't work, and a giant mutant alien. I think our town is off to a roaring start right now. I have a badass tattoo, six-pack abs, and a belt buckle that says aloha. This is amazing. I want to be this guy.